Hi, my name is CJ. I'm a physician assistant working in endocrinology in Southern California, and I'm here at Mets East Orlando. Today I'll be talking about adult onset diabetes. Which type is it? So I'm pretty sure you're pretty confident and um, comfortable making the diagnosis of uh, diabetes, uh, especially if they uh, present with some classic features such as uh, type 1 diabetes, typically earlier onset, they are leaner, they uh, require insulin, whereas in type 2 diabetes, it's later onset, they tend to be more overweight, obese, and uh, they do respond well to non-insulin therapy, at least initially, and may progress into insulin therapy later on. However, if the presentation is not quite clear and uh, they may uh, present in the uh, later age but they do require insulin therapy, they don't respond well to uh, uh, non-insulin therapy, we have to think about some other potential causes or other type of diabetes, not just type 2 or type 1, especially if there's a condition called LADA. So it's an interesting finding in the UK PDS study. UK PDS was a, a study for type 2 diabetes, so they actively recruited patients who were diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. However, in that trial, they found that about 10% of uh, patients who knew, uh, thought they had type 2 diabetes actually had the antibodies for type 1 diabetes. So we might be misclassifying those patients who actually might have type 1 diabetes. And uh, their unique features were they tend to uh, progress into insulin therapy uh, faster than those who do not have antibodies. So we have to think about LADA as a potential cause of their diabetes and maybe we need to uh, start them on insulin therapy earlier uh, to halt or slow down the progression to complete insulin requirement. And also with the rise of uh, prevalence of uh, obesity, uh, patients tend to develop type 2 diabetes earlier in their life, even in their teenagers, perhaps even prior to that, which is very concerning. So um, there are many conditions uh, or environmental factors that have emerged that made it a little more challenging to make the right, uh, correct diagnosis. About 5% of patients with diabetes have type 1 diabetes, about n uh, greater than 90% have type 2 diabetes. So how about the other 5%? What type of diabetes do they have? So they might have what's called secondary diabetes. There's a specific cause that uh, you know, led to abnormal glucose. They might have endocrinopathy, such as Cushing's disease, or acromegaly, or they might have infiltrative disease, such as hemochromatosis, which infiltrates the pancreas, the beta cells, and they um, go insulinopenic and require insulin therapy. So those are the things that you have to keep in mind. And also, one important thing not to miss is the pancreatic cancer. So you have to keep all those in mind. Lastly, there is a condition called monogenic diabetes, which is not common. It's only about 1 to 2%. So you won't see this often, but I want to ask you this question. How many patients do you have with diabetes? Probably more than 100 at least, right? Do you have one or two who, who you have diagnosed with monogenic diabetes? You may not. I have more than thousands of patients with diabetes, but do I have enough, uh, that many, like 10 to 20, percent, uh, 20, 10 to 20 patients with monogenic diabetes? I probably don't. So most often, this monogenic diabetes do not get diagnosed, or if they do, they get misdiagnosed or misclassified into type 1 or type 2 diabetes. So not a common condition, but if they tend to, uh, if they develop diabetes between age of 20 to maybe 40, then uh, they don't have the classic features of uh, type 2 diabetes. Perhaps they're not overweight or obese or they're uh, cholesterol levels such as HDL is not low, the triglycerides are normal, then you have to think about, could this patient have LADA? Or could this patient have a secondary diabetes? Could this patient have monogenic diabetes? So those are the things that you have to keep in mind so that we don't misclassify those patients with diabetes and put them on the right therapy. Thanks for listening. This was CJ from Mets East Orlando.